Hey everyone! I'm super excited to finally be able to show you my viola progress video. As you might know, I started to play the viola in September, which is four months ago by now. In case it's your first time here on this channel, I already play the violin and I've been playing it for a little over two and a half years by now. Of course, the way of playing is not new for me, but the biggest challenge for me was learning to play in the alto clef. On my teacher's advice, I bought this viola study book. It's in German. Bratchen apparently means viola in German. And according to my teacher, that's the sound a viola makes if you drop it. Mm -hmm. Right. But viola jokes aside, first off, I will show you a compilation of short clips of me playing the viola from day one until several weeks in. Then I will tell you about some struggles I encountered when learning. And lastly, I will show you a clip in which I play viola in a string quartet. Okay, let's get started. Thank you. 
that was actually the point where I realized, man, I can play the viola now. Uh, before I started, I thought it would take me way longer, but it turns out it actually only takes you a few weeks up until maybe two months to get the basics down on the viola. At least if you practice often. And at the time, I practiced the viola almost every day. Well, it may seem like an easy transition, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. And I'll tell you why. One major thing I encountered um, in the first weeks of playing was neck pain. Awful neck pain. A viola is bigger and heavier than a violin. A little stiffness in the neck and arms is obvious. But I didn't have a proper chin rest and shoulder rest in the beginning. The chin and shoulder rests I'm used to on my violin were not in stock, so the luthier had to order them. And as soon as they arrived, I replaced the parts and the neck pain was totally gone. A second thing I noticed is that playing the viola is really physically harder than playing the violin. Um, you have to stretch out your left arm further, you have to press down the strings harder and with your right arm you have to press deep into the strings to get a good sound out of it. It really wears you out, especially in the beginning, so it's very wise to take many short breaks during practicing. If you want to have a short circuit or blackout in your brain, go learn a new clef. It's fun! <laughs> it still happens to me that when I play the viola, um, I suddenly, without realizing it, um, start reading the notes I see as if they were in the treble clef. And vice versa, the same happens. I play the violin and then suddenly I start playing the notes as if they were in the alto clef. Also, playing in first position on the viola is similar to playing in third position on the violin, if you just look um, at the position of the notes on the staff. Is that confusing? Yes and no. It really helps if you can uh, already play in third position on the violin. Then it's actually quite helpful in a way. But still, your brain goes nuts every now and then. But if you consistently practice both instruments, it's actually not a problem at all. And lastly, here is some footage of me playing viola in a string quartet at my music school. This footage was recorded about two, three weeks ago in December, so obviously we are playing a Christmas song. Here's Jingle Bells. was my viola progress video. I really hope that this video has given you a clear overview of what it's like to learn the viola if you already play the violin. And I think the progress would be similar if you play the viola first and then take on the violin. So which one is cooler? Violin or viola? To be honest, I really cannot choose. So thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, stay tuned because there's way more fun to come. Bye!